What's up potatoes, it's Paige, and today I've got a fairly informational video for you guys. Every time I go to a swimming, people don't usually know what to bring. So, I have compiled my swim bag to be ready for any swim meets you guys have questions on. So, I have my bag full of stuff. This is all stuff that I usually suggest that you guys bring because swim meets can be lots of very boring stuff. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so at the top of my bag I have my swim jacket. This has my team name on the front and it's nice to wear on the bus and generally I don't usually wear my swim jacket at swimming. So yeah, I usually wear this on the bus. Always bring sweatpants. I try to bring two pairs just because I like to not have to go home on the bus on a wet, soggy pair of sweatpants. But these are my TYR ones. Mm. But these are nice. They have elastic in the waistband. I would have liked for them to have elastic in the feet. But they don't. They have pockets, which is amazing. Because I don't know why people think that women don't need pockets. I recommend you guys bring sandals. These are my Pally sandals. These ones are brand new. And I'm still breaking them in. And they haven't stretched out yet, so they kind of hurt my feet still. But it's fine. Uh, yeah. That goes generally without saying, feet get wet and it's uncomfortable. And swimming pools and swim locker rooms are nasty. So, sandals. I always bring a water bottle and I don't usually, I always drink water, but I don't ever need it as much as when I forget it, I've noticed. So, this one is just my team water bottle. Swim. Team suit. Uh, this generally goes without saying. You're on a team at a meet, and so don't forget your suit. I've almost forgotten it a few times, and yeah. Okay, this one's fairly obvious, but towels. A lot of people only usually bring one. I like to bring two or three, just because it's nice to have one that you're using throughout the entire meet, and another one to keep you warm, and then a last one that isn't wet at all to be able to change with and dry yourself off with completely because I hate how cold soggy towels get. Food. I like to bring uh, granola bars for lots of snacks but I always bring a meal. I usually pack a sandwich and whatever my mom has in the house but I always pack lots of snacks. Brush. A hat. This one's important for those winter meets where they want to keep the pool room as cold as it is outside. I've had a few swim meets like that where the water is warmer than the air and it's... No. So, a hat I always keep in my swim bag. This one's from San Francisco. But the hat will keep your body heat and your head lotion. All the chlorine makes my skin really irritated, and this one is Cup of Warmth from Bath and Body Works. It was one of their like sub signature lines. This one smells so good. It smells. Its description is vanilla chai and biscotti, but it kind of smells like vanilla cinnamony Christmas time. I like this one. This is what I keep my phone in. It's the brand is called Johto, and I put my phone in at the top. <sighs> yeah, my phone fits right in here, and I can still use my phone with this in it, and there's not much of a chance that I will get my phone damaged by water with this. Uh, they say that you can take underwater selfies with it. I'm not that much of a white girl to do that, so hasn't happened yet. Goggles. 
I lost like four pairs of goggles this season and it's been driving me nuts. So these are not my go-to pair. I still have to get a few more. These are the Vanquisher 2.0s. I got them for 10 bucks on Amazon. It's Christmas. Sounds like you're gonna need to stock up. And then a bungee. Team cap. This one ripped. I need to get a new one, but team cap is very important. So that's how they um, mark you in your lanes and make sure that you're there usually. But if you forget yours, you can always borrow from a friend. I know I had to do that a couple of times at the end of the season since mine ripped. And then a uh, secondary cap. I like this one for practice and sometimes I like to put it on first, put my goggles on and then put on my team cap. It's really just personal preference. I like to have deodorant. This is just degree normal deodorant because I don't like to smell bad. I have perfume. This is uh, travel size vanilla bean noel. I think I also have a different one. Yeah, I have Wild Madagascar Vanilla, too. This stuff is amazing. It's very swimmer hair, and it, since I have blondish hair, my hair can turn green if I spend too much time in the pool. So it prevents swimmers green, and it just just a leave-in conditioner, and it really helps get out the swimmer knots in your hair. And it smells really good, too. I have another little lotion. It's BWC Beauty Without Cruelty lotion. It's just a generic lotion. It doesn't have any smell. And this one I like to use on my face. But I got this in an Ipsy some months ago. I had a different one that my friend stole. It smelled like bug spray. I didn't like it, but she did, so she took it. Swim parka. This thing is so amazing. You put it on, and you're wearing basically just a dress, but it's the warmest, most life-saving thing that you could ever get at a swim meet. These, this. I freeze a lot, and I don't usually keep the pool rooms warm, so when I got this for Christmas, oh my goodness, it would make, it makes swim meets a whole lot more enjoyable. And then depending on how long the meet is, I like to sometimes pack a blanket. We have a swim meet here in Utah that is two days, and that one, you just want to sleep pretty much the entire time. So I usually bring this one. It's my fuzzy blanket that's not quite as fuzzy as the other ones because I've abused it and taken it to swim meets. But it's nice for when you want to take a nap when your event isn't for like four more hours. Yeah, I hope this guy just... I hope this video helped you guys out in figuring out what you need to bring at swim meets. I know that sometimes it doesn't seem very clear on what you need to bring. So, subscribe and give this a thumbs up.